Hello everybody, welcome back to Universe Sandbox. Today we're going to see what will happen when all the different planets crash into our home planet here, Earth. And make sure you stick around to the end where I'm going to throw all the different planets at Earth at the same time. Alright, here we go, we got Earth right here, all by itself. The first planet in the solar system is Mercury, so let's throw that at it. Well, you can see immediately tons and tons of fragments are getting shot off. And the entire Earth, oh, except right here apparently, is covered in light blue heat, I'm guessing. Yeah, the temperature, 7,000 Celsius, that's extremely hot. All the fragments of Mercury get shot off. And I guess some of the fragments of Earth too, because it's only at 0.454, so it's only 45% of its original mass. All the all the rest of it has been shot off. Let's speed up time and see what happens to these fragments. And then what's left of Earth after this? Let's speed up time rapidly. As it cools down, we can see what it looks like. Alright. Whoa. Earth is completely destroyed. It's all really dark. And you can see a little bit of water. Lagoon. Remaining right here on the backside, but all of the rest of it has been completely destroyed. Still 50% similar to Earth, but all the life has been killed. Oh look, he's back. Alright, next is Venus. So let's grab a Venus and then click launch and throw it at Earth. And Venus is very similar in size to Earth, so I'm interested to see how this will go because in the most recent update they improved similar size collisions. Here it comes. Oh wow. You can see the shockwave immediately pass through both bodies as these fragments shoot out. And it looks like Earth is absorbing Venus. And obviously they're extremely hot, 22,000 degrees. So it looks like only Earth remains, so I guess Earth was slightly bigger. All right, let's see what Earth was gonna look like after all this. Oh, and one thing I've noticed is that instead of getting smaller, Earth got bigger. So it actually absorbed Venus instead of just exploded itself. This actually looks very cool. It's got, it kind of looks like Mustafar. Oh, and it's still got an atmosphere. That's really cool. It's still got its whole atmosphere. And now it's like tinted red on the, on the ring around it. And it's almost double the size of Earth now. Oh, whoa, you can see all the crater impacts on the surface grid right here. Let's check the life likelihood. Life could still survive through all that. 6.68%. That's crazy. So it's better for Venus to crash into Earth than for Mercury too. All right, now we got Earth versus Earth. I'm excited for this one. I want to see what's going to happen. Oh, you can see this Earth starting to get pulled. Like if we turn on grid, we can see that this one's actually getting pulled towards it. Slow down time. Don't want to miss this. Also, I'm going to turn on flashlight so we can see them better. All right, here we go. Go really slow right at the contact. Ooh, there it goes. Immediately, they're insanely hot. Oh, and you can see right here, you can watch the circle grow. And this shock wave is gonna travel all the way around the surfaces as these fragments shoot out. And it looks like the atmospheres are getting destroyed. Just absolutely shredded. And there goes India, and there goes Florida. Whoa, what is this ice coming from? Is that, was that just on it already? Oh look, that's cool. You can see the ice melt before it actually gets burned up. And gone. All right, let's speed this up a little bit and see what happens. So it looks like one of them absorbed the other one. And it looks like there was almost no fragments compared to some of the earlier ones. Look, it's 1.93 Earths, so that means that means most of the mass is still in the body. All right, I'm interested to see how this one's gonna look after. 
I think the reason it did with Venus is because Venus's atmosphere is very thick. Looks like it does. Yeah, I think these are clouds. Let's check. Let's check the life likelihood. Oh, one point. Oh, it's moving a lot. Let's see if we can stabilize it. Oh, it's going up. I think as the temperature goes down, it goes back up. Six, seven. Oh, oh my gosh, look. The water has come back. 76.8%. Uh, now it's just freezing because it's not next to a star. But that is like best case scenario. Like it'd probably kill everything at first, but then life could come back. So if we had to pick a planet to hit Earth so far, it would be another Earth. All right, next we got everybody's favorite red planet, Mars. I'm expecting this one to be similar to the Mercury one because it's got, it's because it's smaller. You can see Olympus Mons on there. Oh, uh, you can see it's pulling Earth a tiny bit. That's pretty cool, actually. And here we go. A lot of fragmenting this time. And the shockwave again travels all the way. Oh, it did the same thing with Mercury. It didn't get the very back of Earth. And Mars is completely gone. It's just obliterated. And a lot of fragments. Oh yeah, it did take off some of the Earth's mass, but it looks like some of it's coming back by these rocks coming back. Yeah. So it might be pretty close to where it was originally. At 90% of its original mass, and the rest gets shot off. All right, let's see what this looks like after a while. It could have an atmosphere because Mars does, uh, but it does not look like it. Looks like it's completely dead. You can see the craters. Oh, it's also really cold and really hot at the same time. Oh, no, no, that's not. That's 205 positive, so that's pretty hot still. And all the life is dead, but it's still 77% like Earth, which is interesting. I wonder if the water will come. Oh, yeah, there's the water. It's starting to come back. That's cool to see it, like, fill in the craters like that. Pretty cool. Oh, and you can see the city lights that are still there have been destroyed by these craters. Next, we have the biggest planet in the solar system, Jupiter, which I'm worried that it's not even going to do much except just absorb the Earth, but we'll see. I'm sure it's going to pull Earth a ton. Oh yeah, I can already see the line coming off it. Oh yeah, it's pulling the Earth more than Jupiter's going. That's, that's interesting. I'm sure it'll do something. Maybe I'll send a shockwave across the surface. Oh yeah, shockwave. And it gets very hot, but then it cools down almost instantly. And the shockwave didn't even travel across half of the planet. It's still a good sized shockwave though. Let's see over time if anything remains or it just turns back. Well, we got these fragment particles, but once those clear, it really didn't really make a difference. Um, some of Jupiter's mass got shot out, 5% of it, which is kind of a substantial amount, but it looks pretty much the same. So that makes me wonder how many Earths it would take to destroy it. Um, let's launch some more Earths at it. See what happens with these. Oh, they might hit each other before they hit the planet. Ooh, nope. Oh, whoa. They just are gone. And no, no more of Jupiter's mass got shot out. That was underwhelming. Let's get some more. All right, this has got to do something. All these Earths are aimed straight into Jupiter. So let's see what happens. Ooh, <laughs> collision there. Uh, if this doesn't crash the game, this is going to be cool. Oh, yeah. Boom. Big cloud just came out there. Ooh. Very, very laggy. Oh, if you look over here, only... Oh, it's shrinking. We got 1.18 Jupiters left. Very, it's just white. I'm trying to zoom out. Next, we have everybody's favorite ringed planet. And for this one, I'm actually going to launch Earth into Saturn because of the rings. I'm interested to see how the rings will react. So we actually have to add the rings. So now we got the rings on Saturn. I want to launch it in a way where it's like almost, it like just kisses the rings. 
It's like right here. A little bit. Oh yeah, look, the rings are getting disrupted. Just a little bit. All right, let's see here. It's gonna hit some of these ring particles. How's the damage on here? You can see it makes little impact craters. Just taking out all these ring particles. All right, and here it goes into Saturn. Kaboom! And it's gone. See if Saturn recovers, I'm sure it will. And the rings, yeah, you can see it got, they got messed up. But I think they will be okay. All right, let's launch. I'm gonna launch a bunch of Earths, um, and they will all go through these rings to see what'll happen then. All right, here we go. So all of these should be going right through the rings and then into Saturn. This Earth doesn't even have water on it for some reason. It's okay. It's got it's got the spirit. That's all that matters. And oop, those two collided. Another collision, oop, and they all are going in to Saturn. Looks like Saturn's growing, actually, not shrinking like Jupiter did. So I don't think if more Earths is going to destroy it. Through the rings. Boom. Oh, that one made it shrink. That one shot off a bunch of material. Well, if you look at it at the right angle, you can still see them. But, yeah, they mostly got all messed up. Alright, next we got Uranus. And I actually want to add the rings to it. Also on this one. Yeah. Alright. Um, let's see if we can shoot an Earth right in the middle right here. Right into this target. Actually, with this one, I want to see what happens if we shoot the Earth very, very fast. Because uh, usually we only shoot it at, whatever, 4 point something kilometers per second. So I'm going to shoot it. And then I want this one to do some serious damage, so we're going to change the speed on here. Let's go with 10 times the speed. We'll go 40 kilometers per second. And if that doesn't destroy it, we'll do another one even faster. All right, so this is only 2.5 minutes per second, so this is going pretty quick. It's going 10 times as fast as the other ones we shot, so this should do something. Well, that's like almost exactly half covered in the shockwave and the other half. Oh, the other half's heating up and having material come off. So that didn't look like it destroyed it. Um, oh, the rings. Whoa, now they're like spiraling all weird. And the rotation of it is thrown off. All right, that obviously wasn't fast enough. So let's shoot it a lot faster. Okay, 70% of light speed. This is half a second every second. So this is in slow motion in real life. This better destroy Uranus. This is slower than real time, but I'm excited for this. And the entire thing is blue. Ooh, explode, do it. Ooh, ooh. Uh-oh. Gonna crash the game again. I can't even see anything, it's just a white. Whoa, why does it look like that? It's like a star there we go it's smaller than earth now i guess that counts as destroying it all right we're back after almost crashing the entire game and we're on our last planet neptune i know Earth's not going to destroy it so what i want to try is shooting three of them around it at the speed of light all right now we got all of the earths at light speeds and boom all right, looks like that's all it did to start, but if we speed up time, it's definitely gonna not have good things happen. Is that all that happened? Really? I shot one not even at light speed into Uranus and it completely obliterated it, and then three at light speed into Neptune does nothing? I'm pissed. I'm just gonna explode this, I'm done. There we go. All right. Now, since we've done all the planets, we're gonna launch all of the planets into Earth at the same time. And Neptune. Um, I'm assuming Jupiter is gonna win, but let's go. Oh, oh, it's all getting pulled. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Jupiter's gravity is dominating. And it goes Neptune into Jupiter. Looks like Uranus is escaping. Jupiter and Saturn are very tightly orbiting. Oh, there goes Uranus and Jupiter. Come on, Saturn, you got it. Let's help it a little bit. Let's go to Saturn and just zero the velocity on it. Just put it zero, and that should. Ooh, yep, <laughs> instantly eaten. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please leave a like, and you should subscribe if you want to see more of my content. Thank you.